Peace. This is Wise for Wise Words Media. Back at y'all for another round. And Nick fans, we here. Game three. It's on tonight. Pivotal game three. We came in riding high for game two in Cleveland, and Cleveland had an answer for us. You know, this that's the beauty of this time of the year. The NBA playoffs are a chess match. You know, you make your move. Okay, now the losing team has to go back, watch film, and make their move, make their adjustments. And, you know, to the Cavaliers' credit, they made their adjustments. One of the things that they decided to do was to blitz Jalen Brunson at half court, force him to give up the ball, and force one of our other shooters to hurt, um, to win the game for us, basically. And it didn't work in our favor. RJ, as much as I love RJ, he's he's struggling from outside. You know, he's gotta he's gotta go inside, take take the ball in. Draw some fouls. He's strong and big enough to do that. He could go in, draw some fouls on Allen, Mobley, get them in foul trouble, have them sit out for a while, get yourself in shooting rhythm by getting some easy free throws. So that's some of the things that RJ and Grimes, they have to do that. So, yeah, quickly has not been playing good. So that's that's one of the things, you know, they, they made that adjustment. And they're letting the Knicks shooters win or lose the game for them. Another thing that, you know, as much as we all love Brunson, he's been a great player for us. The first pure point guard in their prime that the Knicks had since Steph Marbury almost 20 years ago. But the thing that is the elephant in the room that nobody likes to address when we talk about Brunson is that he's a liability on defense. Jalen Brunson is he's just not good defensively. And don't give me the he's too little thing because the def defense is also mentality. Muggsy Bogues is only five foot three. Vast majority of people, I want to say maybe over 95% of the people watching this video right now, are taller than Muggsy Bogues. He was five foot three. And he was a lockdown defender. So, you know, it is what it is. He, that's just not part of the Jalen Brunson package. But he does many great things. But what they've been doing is they've been screen and rolling, doing a pick and roll, and whoever Jalen Brunson winds up covering, that's who they're giving the ball and telling that person attack, attack, score, score, score. And they've been abusing Brunson on that in, in game two. So those are the things that we need to, we the Knicks, need to look at how we're going to adjust to those moments where they screen and roll, and now you have Brunson on a Donovan Mitchell or on a, a Coro or a Karis LeVert, Garland, whoever it is. They, they've been having their way with Brunson, so we got to make that adjustment. We got to help Brunson out because that that hasn't been – that that wasn't good in the second game. So, you know, this game, that's my main thing. I just want these guys to drive in, get the bigs in trouble. You got to make it physical. RJ, Grimes, quickly, you guys, since the outside shot's not going in, they need to drive in, penetrate, draw fouls, get Allen and Mobley in foul trouble, get the line, get to the line, get in rhythm, hit your free throws, and that will help. That will help us. That will help them get in shooting rhythm. Once you see the ball going in, it it, it does something for the psyche, you know, and that it, it needs to it needs to happen. It needs to happen because the contrary also works. When you clunking shots from outside, it starts to wear in here. So get to the line. You know, reverse the polarity. Go to the line. Shorter distance. Free throws. Knock those down. Get your confidence back up once you start seeing the ball going in the hole. So that's all. You know, let's let's see what the Knicks do. Um, 
I would like to see more of Brunt's, uh, more passing too. More passing because there was a lot of hero ball. Once the Knicks started going down like by like six, they started to panic and it became a hero ball fest. It was just either Brunson shooting or Randall shooting, one or the other. And it became like this hero ball thing. The Knicks are at their best when they're moving the ball around. Moving the ball around. Jalen Brunson is very elusive, very clever. Break the defense down. Dribble, penetrate, dish, dish, swish. That should be the game plan tonight. And moving forward. Break the defense down. Pass the ball around. Open shot. So let's see what we do tonight. Game three, very pivotal. Let's go next. Peace.